Alright, hey guys, we're, we're back here for another Whiteboard Wednesday, and uh, we've been reading a lot, you know, I don't know how much you guys read in the blogs or, or follow the conversation that's going on uh, on Twitter and in social media, but uh, Jake, there's a lot of conversation about, you know, is the cloud secure? Mm -hmm. uh, is it safe for me to put my application in, to put my entire infrastructure into the cloud? And uh, you know how I got the idea for this, con this conversation today? How's that? Turn around, show the show the camera your your shirt. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, get the cloud secure. <laughs> so what I wanted to talk about is uh, maybe if you could tell the audience a little bit about enterprise cloud computing, how that's a little different from the public cloud, and how things are done in kind of the do-it-yourself model, mm -hmm. and then maybe talk about some of the benefits um, for business in doing cloud computing and how it it could potentially be secure in the cloud with an enterprise environment. Okay. So let's draw up the uh, the public cloud. Yeah, that'd be great. So once again, I get to use the actual cloud uh, picture there. Uh, typically, in the public cloud, your virtual machines are right on the internet, so they have a public IP address. The only thing stopping them from all the services on your machine is the the client firewall. Okay. So so these these machines just out on the internet here. Each, each of these machines can't have a firewall running on them, so it helps in some instances. If you're running a lot of machines, though, mm -hmm. managing multiple fire, firewalls like that is going to be a pain in the butt. Yeah, I mean, it's more expense, more time, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff you don't want to manage. Okay. Right. With the enterprise cloud model, we actually run a firewall appliance. Okay. So, in the enterprise cloud, we have a firewall which is designed to be a firewall right out in front and then we can design your network behind this firewall just like your enterprise so we can have we can have multiple VLANs back here with multiple machines uh, we can separate the web from the database servers we can separate production machines from QA dev machines if you want okay. to do that mm -hmm. and so this is the way you're di diagramming this right now is just like you would diagram it in the physical world but it's important to know that the way that you do it in the cloud uh, is you can actually virtualize this firewall, right? Right. So this is this is a virtual appliance. Okay. Uh, Blue Lock uses Checkpoint virtual appliances. Okay. We were actually one of the first ones to virtualize the Checkpoint appliance, so we've got that going for us. Nice. So so Checkpoint is kind of like the standard when it comes to enterprise firewalls. Checkpoint is one of the standard ones. Okay. So you see other ones like Cisco PIX and stuff like that. Cisco, but okay. as far as I know, they haven't been virtualized yet. Checkpoint is really leading the front as far as you know getting in with the uh, with VMware specifically okay. uh, for the virtual firewalls. Okay, great. So so back back to this model again. Yeah. We can design this network just like the enterprise model. Not only that, but the checkpoint allows us to do pretty cool stuff. So here's <laughs> I'm trying to spell. <laughs> Let me help you out. All right, you go ahead and talk. Tell them about this this enterprise. So so connecting back to the enterprise is is one of the biggest challenges, right? So in the public model, you're connecting over these public IPs to each of your standard cloud servers. Mm -hmm. A lot of compliance type stuff. Uh, says that you have to have some sort of encryption between the enterprise and you know the cloud or wherever your servers are. Right. So with the checkpoint firewall, we can actually do a secure site-to-site -site VPN. We can do SSL VPN. There are a lot of modules inside the checkpoint firewall that will allow us to do that. Okay. Okay. So when you're talking about uh, security in the cloud, you've got firewalls that which can really help kind of segment your, your virtual machines, make sure that if one gets hacked, the rest don't get hacked. Right. Uh, it, similar in the physical world, mm -hmm. right? But you've also got intrusion detection and intrusion prevention systems. Right. right. So let's talk a little bit about that. Maybe you could tell the audience a little bit about how that works in the virtual environment. Sure. So if, if you're not familiar with an IDS or IPS, uh, it's intrusion detection and intrusion prevention. Mm -hmm. So in IDS, typically a firewall will inspect what ports traffic is coming over. Okay. With an IDS or an IPS, those both inspect uh, a lot deeper so the content 
of those packets, what's coming over. Okay. So if somebody's trying to um, hack your hack your web server, right. for instance, it'll actually look at the the packets that that user is sending over to see if uh, is this kind of shady stuff going on here or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the uh, I the IDS IPS will will take a look at that IPS will block it. The IDS will notify you that that's going okay. on. Okay, so the IPS is really kind of your uh, proactive yeah. security. So in, in terms of a business, it's, it's nice to be able to tell your clients or your users that you're being proactive about the data that they're sharing or the information that they're sharing on your web server or you know, in the cloud, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, a, a big benefit using IPS. Yeah, and if, and if uh, the, the enterprise user has clients that require them to have an IPS for some sort of compliance, then uh, yeah. that'll, that'll work out for them. Yeah, compliance is great. I think uh, if we could do even a whole whiteboard Wednesday on you know, maybe PCI compliance, Sarbanes-Oxley, uh, some of the other HIPAA compliance, mm -hmm. all of those, maybe we could do that next uh, next Wednesday. Yeah, we, we actually have a lot of clients that uh, have that kind of compliance need, right? And they are running in the cloud, and they are meeting their compliance. We have auditors come in and check stuff out. It's good times. All right, good, <laughs> good. That'll be a, a good little whiteboarding session. Okay. Well, you, I guess kind of what all this means in, in terms of the cloud is that you can be secure in the cloud, mm -hmm. and you can actually, similar to, similar to a physical environment, put firewalls, IPS, IDS in place. And the other, the other thing with that is that they actually scale, right? Because they're on virtual machines. Yeah. Which is, is different from the physical world, right? So if, if you were, if you got a lot of traffic through your firewall, you would be confined by the physical limits of that firewall, correct? Correct. Yeah, with the, with the virtual appliance from Checkpoint, we can actually scale it vertically to add more CPU or more power. We can even add, if you want to split off your dev or QA environments, we can actually add a you know another firewall appliance and then simply move your QA dev over to that other firewall. Piece of cake. Okay. Very cool. Well, I think that uh, gives us a good idea of you know some of the basics in cloud security, and we can maybe go into a little more detail next time talking about some of the compliance issues mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully answer some of your questions if you, you keep commenting in the the blogs and on, on the forums. And uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.